to start the morning. I-80 traffic in Indiana. This is a time of when we're going to arrive in each state. Well, today is the big day. I am picking up my custom spec 24 foot Intec trailer. Now, if you remember, I had an Intec trailer in the past. It was a 26 footer. It was more set up for like racing. It had a lot of extra cabinets. And I had a friend reach out. He was looking to have me spec out a trailer for his boss. And rather than go through all that, I just offered him the one that I had. I sold it for a healthy profit. And I used that to fund my brand new 24 footer. Now this trailer is specifically built to just haul exotic cars. Well, in my own junk that I own, but it is custom made with a really high side door and a few other features that make it really nice for hauling exotic cars. So I am heading down to the factory to go pick this up. I spec this out through Steve at Victory Trailers. He was a godsend on really getting this trailer exactly what I wanted. So we're hoping to get a tour while we're there and I can't wait to pick up my new trailer. This is how you know you're getting a good trailer. Amish country. Looks like they've expanded a bit since the last time I was here. Well, here she is in all her glory. Wow, this is a real VIP treatment too. Nice air-conditioned space to pull in and check out my new trailer. So this is my buddy Steve from Victory Trailers. He is the one who helped me spec out this trailer and this is the second trailer we've done together. That is correct. And uh, if you don't know, I usually do things like two or three times before I find exactly what I want, but um, after using the first one, it was great, but I didn't need a race trailer, so this is more for auto transport, and I think you absolutely knocked it out of the park. Gave me all the best advice, and I really appreciate it. This is, uh, this is great. Well, I was hoping you'd go for a third trailer, so I hope there's something wrong. <laughs> well, don't, don't hold your breath. Okay. Oh, this is so nice. I got my big scene lights on the side. Step. So one of the things I found with my last trailer is I did three lines of air track and the problem was with wide cars it was great but narrower cars which i put some of my own cars in older cars i added the second line so i'll be able to do over the tire tie downs and then this is supposed to be a spare tire well but i added it so i could put all of my straps in here so they're not like in the way and i kept the Spare up there. As for the cabinets, I went extra deep. They did a custom setup for me. That is the electrical. And some nice storage here. I eliminated the bottom cabinets. And down here, to put the battery instead of out on the floor. I put it recessed in the floor here and I got some more storage. Then I went with the really big scene lights which is nice is this is dimmable so it's not totally crazy on the outside if I don't want it to be. So another thing I did different on this trailer is the box in the front. I just had one before and since I lost the cabinets on the inside I decided to add something out here and it came out really nice and of course you got the black anodized trim which makes it look very stealthy very clean so when specking a trailer steve gave me the absolute best advice and what would you say is the best trailer out there an intech trailer 
Of course. Yeah. And you know, that's why we chose it. And, and can you tell us why, like, what's the difference between Intech and some of these cheaper brands that do, specifically, let's talk about aluminum trailers, like, you know, like as far as construction and that. I would say the biggest part of Intech is the process and the procedures, the way they do it, like the print process and the quoting process, um, and then the dealer portal. You, the customers can go right on their portal and they can right, see. Right, yeah, I was able to follow along with the build, which was super yep. nice. So you can see everything that I see. So when you get print revisions, you see them just as soon as I see them. Um, any changes that are made to the trailer when the trailer is complete, you know about it just as, the same time I do. And then you keep that information forever. Right. Like, so if you want to go on and see pictures of the inside of your trailer or the construction of your trailer, all you have to do is type in your your uh, portal number and away you go. Right. So a lot of questions that I usually have to answer for the customer, I don't have to answer anymore because they can go online and do it themselves. Right, okay. So, that's that's a huge benefit and then also the structure of the trailer I would say and the fit and finish and the quality of the trailer is I would say two to three times greater than anybody else right now right and I think like with the with the side door up there uh, what you're explaining to me is they actually do a full I-beam across so that that holds the weight of the door where a lot of a lot of other trailer companies don't do something like to that level correct yep and as far as the frame goes at two by six rather than like two by four construction generally on some of these lightweight trailers yeah some of your smaller trailer manufacturers they don't use the structure that intech does and the way they link their frame together they have an outrigger frame or I'm sorry, they have a perimeter frame versus an outrigger frame. Right. And that makes things way stronger than anybody else. So right. that's one huge benefit. And that's, and that's and that's why you see a lot of trailers, like the Intech trailers are just a touch heavier than most people mm -hmm. because there is a little bit more structure in it than most of your lighter duty aluminum trailers. Right, and while Intech's a huge company, obviously we're in their new facility now, uh, what I found is they're very willing to do custom things. Like mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I'm very particular. As you, as you know, we went back and forth a lot on this, yeah. uh, as far as like adding lights and stuff. And and they were very uh, receptive to that. And it, it seems like you know, they will build you the the trailer of your dreams. You know, should you want it, where some other manufacturers may not do that anymore. Is that that about uh, right? That's correct. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there, there's still some out there. There's two or three other manufacturers that'll do custom. But I would say Intech is definitely leading the group right now as far as um, the ease and you know a lot of a lot of customers come with new things or new ideas and they're they're really accept they you know they're receptive to doing these things yeah. and as you know you know we this is your second trailer and there's pretty much nothing you know I think your first trailer had massive lights on the outside an alarm system we put in it and. Yeah. You know, just little things, you know, that add up, you know. Right. Very good. Well, another thing I did under Steve's advisement was I went crazy with the lights. We've got three turn signals here on the side, and I doubled up the clearance lights. And also, what I didn't have in my last one is we added the turn signal and brake lights up there so this thing is going to look great at night be very visible i mean steve if you're building the trailer this nice yes sir you just got to do it right the first time that's correct you know and i appreciate the advice because sometimes sometimes i'll cheap out on stuff and i <laughs> I, I always hate myself for doing that but uh and I it's think, a lot of fun spending up my customers' money, too. Like, <laughs> I like adding lights to it, you know? Right, exactly. Well, the thing is, is you've built enough of these that you know what people are going to want yep. and uh, and what makes sense. Because like you said... Because like, this one, and it was a great idea what you had, too. You put the the uh, flasher lights on the back, spoiler, because you got a wide-body trailer. So if you're ever pulled over along the road and you put your ramp door down, nobody can see your lights because the lights are built into the door yeah. versus the door post on right. some of the trailers. 
so nobody can see your lights flashing when they're coming so that that was a great idea and all the extra lights too help you know when you're turning or passing you know yeah you people, can never have too many lights no people can see when you're going to turn you know move over into somebody else's lane they can see all the extra turn signal lights on the side of it you know if somebody hits this trailer they got <laughs> they got, some serious they got... <laughs> problems exactly good deal well uh for everybody out there what uh what is your website phone number for victory trailers um you can call myself 574-354-2651 or you can go to our website at victorycustomtrailers.com um we have a great facebook page um hannah does a great job with our website and our facebook page so we're always posting pictures every day of deliveries we have this trailer will be on there today and we have another one sitting out there that's getting ready to deliver yeah so just about every day we have something leaving and we're posting pictures of all the custom trailers that we do yeah. so well there you have it folks if you're looking for a custom race trailer or any sort of trailer I highly recommend victory uh, I've had two great experiences. I've sent friends there, and uh, what's really cool is, Steve, you become a friend. We yep. we converse about other nonsense, uh, yeah. banded Trans Ams and everything else. Yeah. So uh, it's been a great experience. So if you need a trailer, you know who to call. Man, that looks good. Definitely gonna can't wait to see this thing at night. Good to see you, Steve. See you guys. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome.